hanging out here at the Long Island International Film Expo. My name is Steve Strangio, and we're talking to the filmmakers. This guy right here, we had a bit of a talk before, but now we're going to dive into the real interview. Tell us your name and the name of your project. Hey, uh, my name is... Uh Hey there, sports fans. That's right. Hey, <laughs> we're talking to this guy right now. Go yeah. for it. <laughs> hey, my name is uh, Andy Hassel. I am the uh, co-writer, co-director of I Don't Bite, a uh, psychological horror film, mm. uh, thriller, uh, based on the uh, premise, uh, what if you went on an amazing date, but he happened to be a, a, a homicidal serial killer? I think I may have been on those dates. <laughs> I think... <laughs> I'm Were you that guy? No, <laughs> I was the one, for some reason, dating <laughs> the, the, the cycle killer. I don't know why, but I've, it happens. Yeah, I, think I, I think a lot of people can relate to that. Yeah, especially yeah. in New York. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's why you, you just got to like make sure you have a, an exit plan as quickly as possible. That's right. Tell, yeah. tell people uh, where you are. That's what <laughs> <No>, exactly. <laughs> I mean, I got to ask you, I mean, what inspired you to do this? Is yeah, I mean, I feel like, um, I mean... Probably uh, a lot of people that you and I have dated. Probably, I feel like yeah. uh, a lot of uh, women are very interested in some of those uh, true crime stories. They love and the murder stories. They I'm, love the murder stories. I don't mean to like categorize. Not every woman <laughs> does this, but at a whole, they, they always talk about that. And I guess they're trying to remind us that it could happen at any moment. Yeah, right? it's yeah. it's kind of like uh, all the uh, old fairy tales, Mother Goose stories were all like parables about like don't go into the woods. Yeah, yeah. Don't trust the man uh, that you don't know. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I feel like we followed along that vein and then started to study uh, some of the historical serial killers like Ted Bundy and uh, John Wayne Gacy and um, just really kind of going into just how how someone could come so tilted yeah. and and really just lose their um, concept of reality and then what would push someone like a dentist overboard yeah. and um, who would be the match or the foil for that well when you think about it dating is very dangerous to begin with if, even if it's a man or a woman or a man and a man woman woman whatever you know you're getting into a car and going somewhere or getting into a place and going somewhere with someone that you barely know so that's scary enough and yeah, I think like dating is like changed a little bit. You know? Yeah, it, I feel like you know that air of vulnerability that you have to have in order to have an authentic exchange right. with anyone, and then add in a dash of that person is a dentist. Yeah, and then maybe you have a fear of going to the dental office, like myself. <laughs> yeah, uh, and then add in a dash of you know some of the things that might make someone go unhinged. Right. Um, and yeah. So and and then we also. You know, wanted to look into uh, a strong leading female uh, character and who, who would be a match for that and not just be, you know, right. just a badass girl. Right, you know? right. That's awesome. So you get into, even though it's like there's some satirical comedic elements in there, you got to get to the real. Yeah, 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 yeah. So people can relate to it. Yeah, and, yeah. and then we also based it on some real-life stories that we thought were very interesting. Uh, there was one um, serial killer mm. that uh, he had drugged uh, one of his victims. Oh, no. And the victim got away, yeah. got to the police. Oh, no. And then right in front of the police, this victim was like, this guy drugged me. He's trying to kill me. And the cops... Um, uh, like we're getting ready to question this gentleman and the serial killer came up oh, no. and said hey this is my boyfriend he just had too much to drink oh, wow. don't believe him he's always very dramatic oh. and he uh, they, the cops believe the serial killer and so we have an element of that in our script that's real and, and scary and, yeah. and it is super scary because yeah. like we don't know what's on the other side of the door. You know, you might live next to someone who you always kind of get weird vibes about. Right, right. And then you're like, I fucking knew it. <laughs> that guy was a bad dude. You know, like. <laughs> they always do that, too. They always have that guy talking. Yeah, he was such a quiet guy, and then he killed people. You know, so, and was he a dentist? Well, I don't know. All right. Where yeah. can we find you uh, out there in the internet world? Yeah, so uh, you could find me personally at uh, hasslehouse.com. Nice. And that's. Uh, uh, Hassel House, spelled the German way, H-A-U-S, 
Cool. Uh, and then um, also I'm Andy Hassel. That's Andy underscore Hassel underscore on Instagram. And then also uh, my co-director, you can find him, Ben Yanetti. Uh, that's Smart Mouth Productions NYC. I love that. Uh, also, <laughs> please check out our deep, uh, our dual DPs, Craig Melville. Uh, he's worked for some amazing companies like Disney. Crushed it. Also, uh, Mike Kenyansev. And um, yeah, you, we're currently in our festival run. Uh, we uh, are here at the Long Island it's International it's Film, Film Festival. Festival. And then we're also at um, uh, the World uh, Cinema Festival coming up in August. Um, uh, and we're screening at a Regal wow. in uh, theater in Queens. So Fantastic. check that out afterwards. All right, once again, your name and the name of your project. Sure. Uh, my name's Andy Hassel, and uh, my film is I Don't Bite. All right, I'm Steve Strangio, hanging out, Long Island International Film Expo.